Welcome back to NC Sports Weekly News with top water sports from around the globe. In this edition, record numbers and history rewritten in Abu Dhabi as victory team clinches yet another UIM a World Championship in Class 1 and a Team Chardon takes the V1 crown. Vestas wins a saga in the Indian Ocean as media frenzy is stirred by dramatic crash and a castaway footage releases. Bastien Destremont has the commentary. Top pros at the Coconut Grove and it's a second consecutive world title in the Melgis 32 for Argo team in Miami. Michel Bure wins the World Cup of Surfing in Hawaii, while Dusty Payne takes second and the lead in the ASP's Triple Crown. Nautique Paris 2014, happening now until December 14th, a word from the President. NC Sports, plunge into the action. The 2014 season finale for the UIM Class 1 and V1 rocked the Emirates last Friday with the last two key races at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Fourteen boats met the start line in front of Al Marina with monohulls on the 6.95 nautical mile inside track and the multi-hulls on the outside for 7.80 nautical miles. Leads uh, raced in sequence and the course uh, set for 10 laps around Lulu Island offered a spectacular mix of rough and flat to surface conditions. Our boating history was rewritten in Class 1 as Arif al Zafine and Nadir Bin Hendi confirmed all forecasts by winning the pole position and both races of the day virtually unchallenged. The numbers are truly impressive. For Team Victory, this adds up to the 14th World Crown, while for the crew here in their Abu Dhabi home waters, it's world title number 7. To top it off, individually Alza Find sealed his 42nd Grand Prix win and now equals the longest standing career record held by Britain's offshore legend Steve Curtis. Team Abu Dhabi and LFF10 completed the podium, but with a fourth, Zabo Iziklar secured the second place in the championship, while Fendi closed the third overall. Holding average speeds above 90 knots, Aaron Chantar and Dominique Martini on Team Chaudron also came in as favorites and did deliver with a race one victory. Race 2, however, slipped away as Belgians Nico Bertels and Franco Hemelaer on Bernico Newstart managed a huge comeback, aided by Carl Pilix and Tommy Wan. Bumped into fourth place, the Franco Maltese team Chadron still held a margin for the UIM V1 world title, while Tommy Wan closed the 2014 season in second and Aquasport in third. You're watching the selling of the stock news. Welcome to the office. A nauseous feeling in the office when you watch Team Vestas being grounded on this beautiful coral reef. Beware. Some images in this report are very disturbing to watch. In a few seconds, you will discover the force of the impact when the boat crashes into the reef. It is pretty obvious that the crew has no idea where they are. A big, big mistake, a colossal mistake, a human error. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, fuck, son. Ah. Really good? Yeah. 
For sure, Nico and his crew removed all the items they possibly could with the limited tools they had available. The crew is safe and that's the priority. Now the process for, for us is now to, um, is to regroup in the next few days and try and, try and see what the future can hold for us. Um, it would be, you know, I, I just feel like we can't let this team stop. Sorry guys. But we don't care if the investors resume racing or not. Sailing is a clean sport, and that pile of carbon cannot stay on this color reef. So Nico, as skipper of the boat, or Knut as boss of the Volvo, please take this wreck away, urgently. The 8 mile race course uh, positioned in front of Miami Beach uh, delivered uh, top racing conditions over the weekend and Argo team uh, grabbed an unprecedented second consecutive world title in the Melgis 32 class. Of the 10 races uh, scheduled and completed in Florida, Jason Carroll and tactician Cameron Appleton won four regattas, added a second place and kept up the consistent uh, scores. Aided by crew members Anthony Kooten, Scott Norris, Weston Barlow, Ram Landy, Philip Wernheim, and Micah Kushner, the Argo team held on to the world crown with a substantial margin on the rest of the fleet. Seven points behind, the Italians of Torpione with Eduardo Lupi, Massimo Pessina and tactician Lorenzo Bressani grabbed second place on the Melgis 32 world podium, while the third spot went to Japan's Mama Yuto team led by Naofumi Kamei and Manu Weiler with a 25-point deficit. Hosted by the Coconut Grove Sailing Club, this World Championship paraded a remarkable lineup of seasoned pros, completing the event in the top 10 positions, including America's Cup heroes of yesterday and today, like James Spithill, Terry Hutchinson, Morgan Larson, and Vasco Vascotto, now teaming up with Monaco's seafaring prince, Pierre Casiraghi. With two top rides of 9.93 and 8.20, Tahiti's Michel Bourret conquered the, the Vans World Cup of Surfing in Hawaii last week in a heated 35-minute final on massive tubes against the locals Dusty Payne, Sebastian Zies, and Ian Walsh. I've been second a couple times already, you know, so I'm kind of over it. <laughs> but uh, Dusty, Dusty got so many good results this year already. Uh, he came, he, he won Hale Iva, he got second here, and. Obviously, he's the the the, the, lead, the leader of the Triple Crown, and you know you you never know. Like this guy can do anything, and and I'm pretty sure it's gonna go big in a at pipe and. With this victory and just one event left in the ASP 2014 season, Bouret jumps to second place in the Vanza Triple Crown, behind leader Dusty Payne, on a strong comeback after two years spent recovering from injury and now looking for a spot on the main Pro Tour. I wanted to come into Hawaii and have a good showing, and um, you know, so far so good, so I'm uh, pretty happy, and you know, it would have been nice not to get comboed, but you know, Michelle had two good waves, so that's, that's how it is. And, you know, um, yeah, just looking forward to pipe and go get barreled. <laughs> The Big Bash is already full on in Hawaii, as the Men's Pipe Invitational and the Billabong Pipe Masters will decide all. Qualifying Series, VTC and the WCT. Full updates on the next NC Sports.
The Nautica 2014 of the world-renowned Paris Boat Show is happening now until December 14th, and nautical channel teams are currently at the Porte de Versailles to bring you exceptional coverage with the latest releases and industry trends. Here's a quick preview and some insight with President Alain Pichavant. The Nautique is growing. The great gathering of all the industry will feature over 1,200 boats, 150 brands, 240,000 visitors, and it's also a rendezvous for the entire nautical universe. Like for example the offshore regattas among others, that renew their presence each and every year. The Nautique has a strong selling presence, thanks to the strong footprint of two main national shipyards, but this year we want to highlight the power boating section, which represents nearly 80% of the French consumer market, and possibly 90% in the rest of the world. Now in its fifth year, the 11km Nautique sub Paris crossing, the kicks off of the first Sunday, is getting even bigger, with 400 participants signing up for the challenge in the first 24 hours, and even left another 150 hopefuls on the waiting list. The Nautique is the end-of-year reunion for those who love all things nautical, special happenings on the fairgrounds, experiences you can live, and also more related external events. So we'll see you from the 6th to the 14th of December at the Port de Versailles. Hold on tight to sports fans! The very best of 2014 is coming your way with two very special editions of the NC Sports Buzz and a top story. Sail, surf, paddle, kite, and so much more. Join the Water Tribes for the holidays and check out this season's most significant moment. Premiering every Saturday at 9 p.m. Only on Nautical Channel. Plunge into the action with NC Sports.